So Ted says he's got a token. Chase. Something. And it's good for. Oh, that's an old looking good one. For five cents in trade. Let's Maybe take a look at that. I can't see it. I'm blind. <laughs> oh, wow. That is a really pretty one. Jacob Brothers of Ida Grove, Iowa. Five cents in trade. That's going to be 1800s, I think. We'll Absolutely. take a look at that. Something on the front. And it beat like junk. <laughs> huh. That's really cool. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. He, Whoever owned that token must have ordered that from a, uh, a supplier. So that comes from Chicago. I found one just like that. And those can be a little bit valuable. So that's a nice find. That's disgusting. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see if we get something else all right so i'm back out with tom and ted somewhere around here there he is ted just got a cool token tom's got a lipstick tube and i'm on to my first find it's a green penny and it looks like it's a weedy that's all right though it's a nice green one maybe an old date 1930. Oh, it's got an S mint mark. Oh, one year off from the key date. 1930 S, sadly, instead of the 31. I'll still take it. That's a great find. Let's see if we get something else. So Ted's got another good find here. He already filled in the hole, but this thing was like a foot deep. It's a thimble. It says GG Auto Electric Company. So it's an advertising thimble of some kind. That's a really cool find, though. Let's see if we get something else. So this one was down there pretty deep, and I think I have a pocket knife. Yeah, definitely a pocket knife. Looks like it's got a really nice looking bone handle, so that's gonna be an early one. No markings that I can see, but that is a really nice looking knife. I will certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. So Ted just got this Indian head penny here. It's an 1893, and that's in really good shape, for as old as that is. It's still got all the denticles. Here's the wreath on the back. That's a nice find though. Let's see if we get something else. So I've got one more find here before I move on and that is going to be this padlock here. It's a massive iron one and it's definitely got some age to it. Too bad the loop is broken off, but that's still a really cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this is actually a surface find. It came in as a mid-tone and it's got writing on it and looks like it's a little bit on the older end. see what that says it says ah auto strop safety razor company uh i can't read the cursive i was in the last generation to i guess the first generation to not really learn it uh new york usa president and then it looks like there's a oh that ain't good there is a uh logo on the back side auto strop if i can find an age on this i'll throw it up for you if not let's see if we get something else so I just flipped up that there. I think I see wheat ears on the back of it. I hope so. I have not found anything but clad in this yard. And yeah, looks like it is going to be a wheat. There's the one cent on the back. Maybe an older date. Probably not, but we shall see anyway. Looks like a 55. 55 with a Denver mint mark. That's a cool find though. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I might be finally getting into the older stuff. This one's got a pretty... Uh, interesting patina on it maybe an older wheat and yeah possibly we'll see 41 still a wheat penny though that is going to be my second one for this spot and there is the one cent on the back it cleaned up pretty nice so i will definitely take it let's see if we get something else so i just popped up a coin that was hitting in the 60s check that out i see an indian in the hole right there we're going to go ahead and pluck that and see what we got for date. I think I saw 1800s on it, too. Looks like we'll have a date of 1891. That's got a really nice green patina to it. And here is the wreath on the back. But I will certainly take an Indian. It's a nice change of pace from all the wheat, so I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. So it looks like we got another older looking penny here. This one was down a little bit deeper. What's in the rest of the yard if I can hold on to it? Not sure if I can see a date, but I think I do see 
Oh, wheat ears. Yeah, I do see the wheat ears. That is going to be another wheat penny. I believe number three for this spot. And it does not look like a very old one, but we'll see if we maybe have a good date. We do not. It looks like 50s, but I will still take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this one hit just like an Indian. Sadly, I think I see Lincoln on the front of that. And yeah, I do. But it's got a green look to it. It's maybe an older wheat. Huh. That's a crusty looking date, but I'm thinking definitely a wheat penny. If that'll focus for you. Uh, yeah, it is going to be a wheat though. Well, maybe, just maybe we'll get a date off of this one. A good date. And I believe I see 1919. So that is the oldest one I've found so far, but I will certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I believe we have another wheat penny here. This one was hitting a little bit lower as well, and it's got a very green look to it. Is that a weedy? I think that is. Lighting's not the greatest over in the shade here. And boy, does that camera not want to focus. But yeah, I do see one cent on it, so that is going to be another wheat penny. I believe I see 40s. That's okay, though. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So here's another one here. I just destroyed this on the way out of the hole, but it looks to be some sort of like hair barrette or something along those lines. And you can see where the bits were. There would have been a clip on the end, but that's got a lot of fancy on it. It's definitely got some H to it, so I will take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I see an impression right here, and down there, there's a coin. Looks like we have what I think is going to be a wheat penny. Yeah, Lincoln's on that one, so... Let's see what we got for a date. 51, that's okay though. Still a wheat penny. So I'm really racking up the wheat, so hopefully there'll be some silver or an Indian in here soon. But in the pouch that goes, let's see if we get something else. So this hit really high like silver, but that actually looks big and bronze. So definitely a token of some kind. And I think I see 1962, so there is a date on it. I helped buy the site at Fort Atkinson, 1962. Interesting. I'm going to give that a pants rub and see if we have any other details on that one. Oh, that is very cool, whatever it is. Looks to be a commemorative token of some sort. But that is a great find there. I will certainly take it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up and I'll loop you back in. So here's just a better look at the token. It says Fort Atkinson, and it has the eagle design, and it's definitely a commemorative of some sort. So 1819 to 1827 is when it was active, and must be something along the lines of maybe helping to buy the land that became the Historical Society site back in 1962. But that's a really cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So looks like I'm down onto another penny. This one came up from pretty deep, and actually... If I can hold on to that, I think I saw 50 something on the front. So it looks like we have a 52 Denver minted wheat penny. And there's the back of that coin, but I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it's looking like I'm onto another wheat penny. I am just stuck in wheat penny land today. That's actually gonna be a nice green looking one. So hopefully we'll have an older date on this one. I have lost count at this point as to how many I have found in this spot but looks like we'll have a date of, oh, 1940 something. Interesting, that had an older patina to it, but I will still take it. Let's see if we get something else. That well, looks like this barrage of wheat pennies will continue. And there's the one cent on the back of that one. Hopefully we'll have an older date though on this one. Looks like 40s though, that's okay though. I'll take another wheat penny. Let's see if we get something else. So it's been a little bit slow going. I have found some other old stuff. I found this spoon bowl and this uh, lead harmonica reed, but down in the hole here, I just pulled up this here, which appears to be a button. And I've found, I think this is gonna be another Big Smith. I've found a few just like it. And yeah, there it is, Big Smith, I believe in the shield. I'll go ahead and get this all cleaned up and loop you back in. So here it is all cleaned up. I was right, it is a Big Smith overalls button. So that's a cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this one was down pretty deep for as dry as it is today. Looks like we got us a penny of some sort. Hoping for a wheat, and yeah, there is a one cent on the back. So 
maybe an older date. Looks like it's got a newer patina to it, but you never know. Looks like 1944. That's okay, though. I'll take a wheat. Let's see if we get something else. Hey, everybody. Bug Eater back with another wrap-up from some hunts at the uh, Ghost Town Schoolhouse, as well as a couple of yards. So I want to start off by saying congrats to Ted on all his awesome finds. And thank you to Tom from Across the Plains for taking me out to such a great schoolhouse site. But here's my take from those hunts. I got a big clock gear. I got a kind of beat up iron padlock, but it is complete. I got a pocket knife with a bone handle, a hair barrette with some bedazzle in it. I got this bit here, which is from the Autostrop Safety Razor Company. And I was never able to get a date on it, but it's definitely got some age to it with the old script and silver wash. I got this unknown bit here. It's patented March 20th of 1888. If anybody has an idea of what that is, please leave it down in the comments. It would be greatly appreciated. And then I got a couple of smashed up older looking bullets and then one overall button. It's a big Smith brand. And now onto the coins, I got 11 wheat pennies. I got a 58D, a 55D, a 52D, a 51D, a 46D, a 44, a pair of 41s. And the two, or actually there's one more in there. It's a 44. And then there's the two 41s. I got a 1930S and a 1919 as the oldest from the hunt. And then the best coin is this here, which is an 1891 Indian head penny. It's a little bit worn, but it's got a really nice green patina to it. And then here's the back of that coin. But that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.